Today we will be painting bushes with a sunset in the background. Here's the palette we'll be using today. As you can see, it's a limited palette. Ultramarine blue on the left, and then the bright red color is cadmium red, and the yellow color is cad lemon yellow. Now, you'll notice also I've added alizarin crimson, which is a maroon color. It's in the red family, and it's cool red. And you'll see in a moment here, after I get going, I add white. Obviously, I need white. I just don't have it on my palette yet. And then on the right, I have my medium, which I mix as a paint thinner. If you'll open up our medium video, you'll see how to make this medium. Okay, here's the brushes we'll be using today. This is a Langnickel Royal Sable. It's a number 44, and it's about an inch wide. Here's another Langnickel Royal Sable. It's a number 12, and it's about 3 eighths of an inch wide. And then here's my rigger. It's a number 3. It's for making very small, fine lines like twigs. First thing we'll do is draw some brush or bushes on the side of a hill. This will be a sloping plane. Then we'll put a sunset sky in the background with these three bushes. I like to always use odd numbers of objects like three, five, seven. We'll use three in this case. We'll put the large one in the middle. Okay, the first thing I do is mix some alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue to create my sky color. I'll put a little white in it. This, the sky will have a couple of different colors in it. A sunset generally goes from light to dark and from warm to cool. Okay, and for the ground color, we'll mix a bit darker. Alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue with a bit of white in it and a bit of yellow to neutralize it. some of that in the sky. Okay, now I'll mix my warmer color for the sky. The sky goes from warm where the sunset is, of course, from warm to cool as you get higher into the sky. So this involves some cadmium red and white and yellow to keep it warm. White always cools a color down. Never try to warm a color up with white or make a color bright. Don't ever try to make a sunset bright with white because white always cools color down. Okay, right here at the horizon, We'll put some cad red right on the horizon. We'll get some cad lemon yellow and put that right above the cad red. Just leave those colors alone. Don't merge them together yet. Okay, now we're pulling some of the sky down into the horizon area. Be careful not to touch these bushes with your paint because it'll pollute your sky. You'll notice how I'm very careful with my brush not to get the dark color of the bush into the sky. Okay, now I take some alizarin crimson, which is the maroon color, and put it right below the horizon line because the ground will appear to be warmer right at the horizon line. But notice that I don't put it right behind the bushes there. That's because they're casting a shadow that's coming toward you because the sun's behind them. Okay, now I merge these colors together very carefully. Clean your brush very good before you merge these together and don't touch the blue. Don't get the blue into the red or yellow because it'll pollute it.
You notice how I reach the tip of my brush down into the bushes and the tip of my brush down into the cleanest colors. That would be the yellow and the red. Uh, and I leave the heel of my brush, that's the back part, the heel of my brush, I'll leave that in the sky. I'm flicking up a few little twigs from the ground into the sky area. Remember, blue is cool and red and yellow are warm. And so you'll notice that this sunset goes from very warm, red, yellow, into the blue sky at the top. Okay, now I take some even lighter color of cad red and lemon yellow and white and mix a color that will merge with the sunset. Now I'm putting some cad red into the sky, right where the clouds merge with the light part of the sky. Then I merge the cad red with the cooler colors. This color transition tends to happen in real misty skies. Okay, now I take, now I mix white with yellow in it. Remember, white cools colors down. So um, you want to warm the white up by putting a little yellow in it. And then that's going to be right where the sun shines, right where the sun is, right at sunset. The light is behind the bush, and that's called backlighting. Okay, I'll put a little more warm colors toward the top of the bush and as you can see the bush gets very soft at the top because the light is shining through the brush. The brush is thinner at the top than it is at the bottom. At the bottom of the bush it's thicker and so you see more shadow and it's also cooler because there's more shadow in there which makes it appear bluer. Okay that wraps it up. Another version of bushes. This would be bushes with a sunset in the background. Thanks for watching.